Hi Capricorn, welcome to your retrograde um, specials. And this is the past life reading for singles. Let's take a look. Where's your soulmate? What will you be meeting them? What are the, your past life lessons? Your karmic debts as well. And how for you to go through with it. Okay, what are the things that you need to, um, you know, wake yourself up? For you to have a better path and find your destiny. Let's take a look. Oh, spouse. Looks like you've already met your soulmate. And there are some lessons and blessings that you need to learn. You have a very frail health. Karmic relationship is your twin flame. Ah, well, imprisonment and slavery. You can't seem to get out of a situation or a very sticky situation. Baby, you've had a child together. Monk or nun. Ah, you have talent in mu sorry, you have talent in writing. I don't know why I keep on saying that. You have talent in writing. Alright, let's take a look at your love life. Your soulmate and your twin flame is already in your present life. You've already met that person. Okay. Uh, we'll be pulling out more clarification cards. What, what is the uh, the signs of your soulmate and your uh, twin flame? Your twin flame is somebody that you will be meeting right in the middle of your disaster. Or disastrous life. So, meaning that you will be going through some dire kind of a situation or traumas or somebody will be putting you into that kind of situation. Okay. And... Speaker, let go. It's cool. Talk to your angels. Alright, now, you've already met your soulmate, and this is somebody that you've, uh, that you've been married, f you know, in the past as well. And there are some lessons and blessings that you need to learn, okay, from your past life and right now in your present life. You have a very fragile health and a frail body. Your karmic relationship is somebody that you will be meeting right in the middle of your disaster or disastrous life. And this is somebody who will be teaching you a lot of lessons. This is the also this is also the one that will be pulling you up from your demise and from you know from all the things that you have gone through, from your nightmare, from those people who's been attacking you. It's like your luck will be brought back by this person, although this person is a nightmare. Now and uh, they are younger than you. And you were once an Atlantean, one of the advanced civilizations. So you have a very advanced knowledge, advanced thinking, advanced intelligence. And you are very reliable and very, you know, like uh, a lot of people will be so envious of your wisdom because of your advanced thinking. You were also imprisoned and enslaved. That's why that, you know, in your current situation, there are some things that you can't seem to get out of. Or there are some memories that you can't really escape, move on from or move forward. And there are some people that just keeps on pulling you back or reeling you back and you were once a greek roman that's why you you know every time you see a greek mythology or you see a movie about olympians or like gods you know like uh, uh, Paul, uh, no, uh what do you call this olympus and uh who's that um god of um the sea neptune and zeus yeah, you, you, you know to yourself that they are real, or they are once real. And you've had a baby in the past, but then right now, you are having a hard time having your own child. Or it's like you don't want to, you know, it's like you don't want to have a child, or you, even if you wanted to have a child, you cannot, okay? So there will there, there are some problems and you were once an authority figure. That's why you have a lot of knowledge about laws and people, you know, ask for your opinion or even consult you for this for your input or for your for your um 
you know, um, advice about a particular legal situation because you were once um, in the position, either you were like a judge, a lawyer, a law enforcer, you know, in the military, it could be a king, a ruler, a politician, and you're a once a monk or none. Okay, so you also have that very strong faith in you and you're very guided. Plus, you have talent in writing. Now, let's take a look more at your clarification. Trust and faith. Um, you have talent in music and arts. You served as a knight or as a guard. That's why you are so very uh, protected and you're very careful, you know, in meeting friends, meeting people. You don't really trust easily. You don't open up easily. You were once accused of the things that you did not really do that's why you hated it when somebody just points their finger at you and said okay you did it you did it and most of the time you will also be meeting people who is very accusing okay and you have the gift of wisdom plus you are one of the angels in the past now you were sent back here in you know in, in earth to become a light worker and for you to guide those people who's been um going through you know dire kind of living now, what actually happened in your, you know, in your marriage in the past is, I feel like, hmm, I feel like you've had some problems with your health and you've died at a very early age. And then the other one, you know, with your twin flame, you did not really end up together because you already got incarcerated. Okay, over something that you were only framed up or that you were only accused of doing. Okay, so, and I feel like that is the reason why you're having a hard time. You know, it's like when there is an injustice in a situation, you don't want to be a part of it or you don't want to, it, it's like it, um, it, it, it um, infuriates you. Okay, you hated it when somebody goes through like a like a very bad treatment or when there is someone who's been maltreated you feel like they deserve justice okay a part of you also wants to be a lawyer or a part of you wants to be humanitarian or you want to be like a defender of human rights whether it's a man or a woman's uh, women's rights okay um and i also feel like you're very careful and you're very well protected when you, you know in front of you but right behind you this is the reason why you always have people who backstab you it is because that the back it was sorry the back of your body you know or your back is not really that protected you're only well guarded in front of you but people always poke you and people always attack you right behind you all right and with your twin flame, I feel like this is either an air sign or a water sign. And your soulmate, I feel like this is an open. I did not really get any element, but okay. You've already met your soulmate and then your twin flame, okay? And in your love life right now, you need to be a little bit more optimistic instead of being pessimistic. And you need to keep an open mind. You know, in the past, you're a very conventional, traditional, conservative, very uptight kind of a person. But then as time goes by and as you grow old, you tend to loosen up a bit and you tend to accept life's flaws and imperfections. And that is how you will be obtaining happiness. Okay, you will be married or you will get engaged to somebody who is who's younger than you. And this is your twin flame. And you will have that feelings of you will have that elated feelings or that happiness that well, it's only at the beginning, but then right in the middle of your right in the middle of your journey, right in the middle of your um, right in the middle of your marriage or you know, union then you will find that this person is too promiscuous okay um if you will be asking like why will you be ending up with somebody who is not going to be true to you you know in each and every people that we m meet or have in our lives 
there's always a reason and there's always a mission for us to accomplish okay and this twin flame of yours is that they are younger irresponsible and immature you are supposed to because you're very organized okay it's like the two of you will be attracted because you're too opposite so if you're too organized you're responsible too hardworking, and to you know uh, target oriented or goal oriented that this person is just like all over the place they want some changes um all of a sudden and they just keep on changing things even if there's no need to change okay so you need to give them the sense of direction and you need to let go of control issues let life flow as how it is supposed to be and your soulmate well you deserve love okay and this is the one who will be teaching you how to love yourself there will be a bit of a separation but then there are you know it is because that there are some things in yourself or in well th there are some things in yourself or about yourself that you need to realize and that you need to open up a little bit and this is the person who will be teaching you how to let go of it you will be finding another person which is i feel like you know another soulmate of yours that uh, that lives in another place or that is of another ethnicity or another language and this is going to be a new love but then there will be another deception so what are the lessons that life will be bringing you and what are the things that you know that you need to to remember you see i told you that you were once a knight and you were so guarded up, you know, right in front of you. And you were so, you know, like uh, you're very, what do you call this? Like you're very um, ready or prepared, whatever you see right in front of you. But you don't know those people who will be backstabbing you. That's why in your life, most of the time, you always encounter people who always betray you, let you down, like after trusting them, giving them your all, and like, you know, like celebrating, treating them like a family, treating them like, like they're nobody else, you know, and then all of a sudden, they're just gonna switch back and betray you, okay, you need to protect your back, always watch your back, of course, you can't have an eye, you know, right behind you, but always protect your back, and instead of focusing on whatever that's already right in front of you be more aware of what is behind you okay now what are you supposed to be right now a counselor okay or a speaker a leader in a congregation or it's like uh, you, you can also be a teacher a lecturer okay let go of the things you cannot really control and school you need to keep on learning and you need to it's like you always have that thing about learning new things reading books whether it's an herbal thing medicine and stuff like that and also about psychology and helping out other people whenever things get a little bit rough in your life talk to your angels and you also need to get more in touch with your earth element which is collecting crystals you need to trust what the universe has in plan for you and support you all you can also have that um what do you call this you can also have that um career in the field of medical okay and you also need to rearrange your chakra plus you need to tune up your energy and your aura and you hit you know you also have talent in music and arts again okay this actually coincides with each other so i feel like sometimes or sorry some of the um capricorns right now uh you are supposed to be in the music industry or you need to hone more of your music abilities whether you're a composer, producer, singer, performer, whatever it is, okay? You need to hone your skills in that area, all right? So anyway, that's it for you for this retrograding for this month. Capricorn, if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live video calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.